they said that beginning is always the best that is why you need to cherish it because what if in the long run you will again experience that beginning moments anymore so i am a vlogger and a independent woman my fear is what hi everybody welcome back again to my youtube channel and by the way thank you so much for always supporting me and today's video we will gonna tackle about my fear of dating but before you continue this video please don't forget to click the like click the subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos update notification bell. <laughs> okay so today it's all about fear of dating so why i'm going to tackle this fear of dating many men are messaging me about their love and their intention i know that many of you guys that have a gold and good intention in your heart while you're messaging you know i really do appreciate that a lot so but before you enter before you are i since you're ask you are sending messages i will let you know first why i am um, why i still have fear of dating but i'm ready <laughs> but still fear of dating okay so i will give you the reasons <laughs> it's really hard reasons for sure for many people it's really hard but for me as well also it's really hard and hoping that my man will uh, will accept it and will understand everything so we will start so in a relationship we are always to have they they called adjustment <laughs> yes guys so in the relationship since you are just new and you don't know each other yet you have different kinds of life and cultures um family that you came from you came from so it is really hard and you need a lot of adjustments i am a vlogger and a independent woman my fear is what if he can understand my nature of work and for the long run <laughs> they said that beginning is always the best that is why you need to cherish it because what if in the long run you will again experience that beginning moments anymore so cherish it guys when the rela relationship just started because they said the good treatment is always there the beautiful moment is there happy moments always there because in the long run we get along together and for sure there is a roller coaster in relationship coming and hoping that me i am ready to balance everything just to make the relationship more stronger but we cannot really promise and assure that it's because sometimes through bad things or bad moments or bad experience or sometimes when we are sad we can really um decide or make a decision which is permanent decision and we decide that decision during when we are sad and they said when you are sad and you decide something you can get a bad decision so it is the same with a um when you're hungry you're just in a hurry and eat the things that you eat the food even the food uh, even you don't like the food so it's the same also with when you are sad and you are um making a decisions it can sometimes ruin your life and ruin your relationship so as a independent woman i'm not used to be dictated by someone so i always experiment on my channel whether bad or good results i'm not fair of getting failure because i always believe that experience is the best teacher and in short you can't learn without any failure so sometimes we have to fail first before we learn right and if there is no failure there is no challenge there is no improvement so it's okay when we experience those kind of things just for us to learn and to be more stronger why there are still adjustments of having a relationship by someone and what are those because me why still have why still i need this i'm earning money and i can help my partner why <laughs> so first is my culture filipino culture close family ties i am a breadwinner in the family i can't help myself watching my family having a bad situation financially and especially for food so as of the moment i'm the one <laughs> making or who makes a good money in the entire family which 
um, only value for a sales lady or a normal worker. Why? <laughs> because most of my money that I receive, I put into my family needs like food, house renovation, and emergencies. So it's normal for many breadwinners in the Philippines that they're making, shouldering everything, even if it's too heavy. <laughs> they're always asking myself how long I will do this, how long my strength can be last. So most of my fa most of the family here in the Philippines who makes the good money will be the provider or the breadwinner. What if my foreigner can't understand my situation and it will be the reason of our fights and breakups? Not all about cheating, but it will be the reason is your family connection that is like they're still relying on you even you're married and that is one of the reason also for many couples that they're fighting and they have they're having a bad relationship with their partners it's because of still having connections with their family it is not easy to be a filipino child because if you are from from the poor family you have to cargo everything it's not your responsibility to cargo but when you see the situation you know it's in your heart it's in our heart as a filipino because i can't see myself eating lechon while my family only eating dried fish you know you can imagine that if you have a, go, a good and a very soft heart you will really think what um, how can you help your parents or family as as the same as what you are um, having right now? So my nature of work here in YouTube is a big challenge for me to grow and to be successful. I handle many things from viewers to bashers, financial, and my family. My mind should be ready the consequences before he asks me for a date. <laughs> should be ready because you know I'm sharing these kinds of things here just for the awareness that is it that it is not just easy to date with a Filipina who is breadwinner. So I don't have any qualification for a man as long as he is a man. Responsible, understanding, respectful, loving, and most of all, he will trust me as I trust him. I have a trust issues in sometimes it is hard for me but all you have to do is to trust me because i trust i will trust you as well and you need to show your trust so that i can trust you more because if not that's really hurt for me so many people i'm dealing with every day you know through youtubes and a lot of times i have to be blind I have to be diff <laughs> just to remain positive and continue what I have started. So the second is the expectations. So first was adjustment and the second one is the expectations. So once a Filipina dating with a foreigner, everyone expects that that Filipina have a lot of money and most of them will ask every time they have emergencies. Even especially when it's Christmas, you know, during Christmas, um, most of the family members will come to your house and asking money and something like uh, even a little money. Uh, and if you don't give, it's a big issue to them that you are having a good life right now and you are being selfish. You are being um, not good family member anymore because you are the one. You are like they feel like. You are feeling rich and you're feeling rich right now and you are changing a lot so whatever happens good or bad things in your life people will say something people will always have something to say and it is really hurt if that those words is from your family you know it's really it's really hurt and it's really frustrating so it is very stressing i have a couple friends they're um, their big problems are the expectations from the people and everyone expects you to pay everything especially going to restaurants so if you are having a money especially um, especially you are a vlogger or maybe you have a good salary so when your friends going with you even they are the one asking you for a dinner or even they're the one asking you to go out and since you have money they will expect you to pay everything so i will choose not to go out <laughs> because my money is good for the family only good for myself good for my bills and if i will go out usually friends are asking so asking to go out 
when you go out usually they will expect you to pay which is really hard because you're not just picking that money on the street guys just you i only have three hours to five hours sleep a day and especially many many challenges hard challenge in the channel like laughing crying being emotional i am very emotional person so it will be hard for me to deal with people <laughs> i'm very emotional actually guys in terms of family in terms of um especially those people who are hating me it is literally like i'm very emotional and the problem is hopefully i can recover from this kind of stage of being emotional because as a woman guys we have different kinds of mood wings and sometimes before two weeks of our menstrual per periods i will say this in the camera that i have some i have an emotional moment before two weeks emotional moment and it's really hard for me to deal with because my mind and my heart is always pushing me to be more emotional things that i am fighting for i just i just um knew it this like last year that i'm like that i'm not like this before it just developed last year ago so it's it's also um adding to my you know to my problems that cost me being emotional <laughs> let's continue <laughs> only few people in or only few filipinos having a habit of saving money usually when they receive money they spend it especially those people who only earn a little money of course they don't have um, enough money for saving but they said if you are if you have habits of saving you can really save money as i started before like online selling i only started with five pesos then until um yeah five pesos for the ukai or thrift clothes then after i i sold that clothes for 100 pesos 250 i washed that i ironed that and sell and sell it and i sold it for 150 100 then i bought a mannequins and that was the start of my mannequin business before when it was like it was still okay the um, online selling here in the Maguiti. but as of now so many online sellers here it's hard to compete because they're lowering the prices now and i can't compete with them anymore so it's time to make a new formula <laughs> and yeah so reasons um many filipinos don't have habits of saving money the reasons why emergency even emergencies even there are cousins only they are asked to borrow money from you or from your filipina <laughs> and borrowing the philippines means ty ty what is ty means thank you <laughs> so don't expect for a return or payment in the specific date so when they say i will pay you by next week don't really believe on that don't expect because there is always extension until they forget it that is why now in facebook some people are or some friends are borrowing money from me i'm not actually replying because i have a lot of things need to pay i have a lot of bills needs to pay and my family so yeah it's better not to reply rather than saying something oh i can't let you borrow because something like that i don't like long story so to cut the story short don't reply <laughs> So every problem I experience, I literally cried because I have no one to lay on my, to lay my head on someone's shoulder, to lay my head on someone's shoulders. So the reason why I kept on traveling from here, from here in the city, going to the mountain where I found my happiness, but it cost me a lot of fortune because I'm staying in the house and for sure there's so many things need to pay, so many things need to buy so it cost me a lot of fortune that's why i'm staying here in dumaguete right now so if you have a filipina gf or wife or if you are still have plan to having a family a family or filipina girlfriend make sure that you are ready <laughs> of everything especially family matter or family matter connection family or connections with the family it will be hard for you and for her as well <laughs> so not all filipino family are the same but mostly especially if she is from 
um, the province so that is expected to happen especially she is from the poor family and from the mountain so those are things that are expected to happen like me that I'm from the mountain so thank you so much everybody for watching and hopefully you will still watch my video and thank you thank you so much for always supporting me and today I am very um, excited I did not do live stream this morning because I was super I was still emotional and like I can't face the camera yet especially that's live stream you know so my mother will visit me today here like to help me here and also make me laugh <laughs> make me laugh of course my mother will come here I will treat her going to the restaurant or Thank you, thank you, thank you a lot for always supporting me. And have a great day, everybody. And again, please don't forget to click the like, click the subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos update. Bye. Love you all.